Thursday, Thursday, everyone. Resale Rabbit here. So yesterday's video just started uploading. I had to bring my laptop to work. I plugged it in rather than using Wi-Fi. Maybe that'll make it upload faster. Apparently, I have no internet, internet at home. It went out at some point yesterday. I tried unplugging the router for 30 seconds or the modem or this one thing and then plugged it back in. Still no internet, so that's fun. Let's get some eBay orders out. And it's actually nice out. The sun is out for the first time in months. So maybe we'll go clean out a storage unit today. Maybe. Another great start to the day. 18 orders for 476. All right, we'll start in here. Got a whole bunch of stuff to pull from in here. Got my list here. We'll start with one C2. Bezo Shine, where? Right here. Jeff Bezos Shimmer, not Shine. Jeff Bezos Shimmer. That sold, uh, sold two of those for a total of $29.98. Also in this one, we've got kitten. I should be careful though, because I'm allergic to cats. Where, there it is. And then this person also bought in one B2. What? That must be two B2 because it's a bra. So we are looking for, let me grab my notes. A 38C in pink, M493. There are no pink ones in here. Unless this is... No, it can't be 1B2. Maybe it's 2B1. Maybe I dyslexic the numbers. Let's put that back. Because I think those are in here. I must have... Uh, dyslexic to the numbers all right 38c pink 493 well there's the 493s it's in here somewhere there we go that's a Oh, I can't get to it. 38C M493. So this bra and the kitten sold for a $21.99 total. Next, we're going for 1A1. We're looking for a conditioner, which I believe is going to be this full conditioner. And then this was a viewer sale. Sold for 12 bucks. I'll read the notes on the viewers in a moment. Next, 2C1, right here, Boheme, and one, hold on, where are we? 1F1 in ink brown. Ink brown, right here. So these two sold also a viewer sale 1997 combined let's put this back what do we have next 2a1 that's rose tourmaline i can't read my my handwriting All right, rose something. That's not it, right? No. Okay, so are these all the same? We're going to assume they are. Is it this maybe? I uh, can't see any style or color on it. This does not have the color anywhere, so we'll put a pin in that. Oh, here it is. Looks like it's the last one. Rose Tourmaline, and this sold for $9.99. 
All right, now up. Oh. Now we're coming over here for, uh, where are we? 1C3 is going to contain, oh, these are coming out. Misty is the color. Right here, Misty. Uh, in the same one, we're looking for Intense Sapphire. And then in 1C4, we're looking for Emerald. And these three sold for a total of 40 47 Next, 2C1, Boheme. And 1B3, Transcendence. Right here, Transcendence. And 1C3, Kitten. I told you guys I'm allergic. I shouldn't be digging these out. But, oh, dropped one back there. Well, looks like there's another one hiding back there, too. Or is that the one? I, I think that's the one I just dropped. Oh, I'm trying to reach. That's not it. Where is the kitten? Right here, hiding on me. And lastly, 1E4 Versailles. 1E4, I believe that's going to be this. Versailles, I hear there was a treaty there once, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. So these four sold for $39.22. And let's put this away. We've got one more thing to pull. And it is going to be in 2A2, right up here. Grab my notes. We are looking for a black 36B in SE9440. Is this the right model? So it should be in this bag. That's a 34. That's a 34. There, 36B. And this, make sure it's the right model, SE9440, that is correct. And this sold for $11.99. So let's read the notes that viewers left on these. So the conditioner was purchased by Patricia. She says, thank you, Resale Rabbit. I love watching your YouTube videos. Thanks, Patricia. These two were purchased by Kiera. I hope I'm not mispronouncing that. She says, love your videos. Thanks and stay safe. Thanks, Kiera. And these four were purchased by Karina. Uh, she says, <clears throat> excuse me, thanks for being a ray of sunshine on YouTube. And thanks for the deal on some new makeup goods. That'll give me something to do with all these free time, all this free time. I'd love a signed card if you've got any. Wishing you good health, Rabbit. Thank you, Karina. I certainly appreciate it. I will get this signed and throw it in the envelope with your items. Next, we've got a viewer sale, a tablet. If you remember, I got all these tablets on a pallet, but a lot of them, the boxes were all damaged. So we sold the ones that were good as new. These ones were selling as new other, no box. Uh, but this sold to a viewer for $53.99. I've got, looks like eight remaining. And it is Jeremy. He says, thank you, Rabbit, for all the great shows and all the inspiration. My dad will enjoy this greatly. Thanks, Jeremy. I certainly appreciate the purchase. If it feels like I'm rushing, I am. I want to quick get these done. I already got a late start trying to mess with the internet this morning. It's 1030 and uh, I want to get a storage unit cleared out completely today. So I'm trying to get this done quickly so I can get over there and start working on that. Sold a Plantronics Voyager. Right here, Voyager Legend. I think this is it. I'll have to double check. Looks like he's got some sort of skew on it. VL1, yep. All right. So this sold for 50 bucks. Now you saw I have a whole bunch of these, $49.99 to be exact. These came on a pallet 
quite some time ago. I did film the palette. It had all of the anchor headphones and stuff like that. Sold most of it, made a nice profit. But I had a box full of these that I set aside and completely forgot about until a few months ago. So we got them all tested and listed. So this one, $49.99. Next, we sold a penguin. It's a weird looking penguin. Star Wars penguin. Who knew they had penguins on Star Wars? Look at the eyes on that penguin. That's big penguin eyes. It sold to a viewer, Resale Rabbit. Viewer for a while on your YouTube channel saw this as you were digging for stuff on the video last week as a Star Wars fan collector of Porg stuff. That must be the name of this penguin, Porg. Uh, I figured I'd make a purchase. Would love a signed card. Hoping for the best for your company. Stay safe. God bless and may the force be with you. And also with you. All right, uh, what was his name? John, John, I certainly appreciate the purchase. Live long and prosper. I will send you this penguin. Next, we're looking for shelf C1. We've got a pair of Wrangler jeans. Way up there, I'm thinking. Are these the ones? Uh, are they? I think they are. Maybe not. No, it says Wrangler Q Baby, uh, 11 by 34. Let's see if it's the right size. They're rodeo jeans, according to the tag. Uh, 11 by 34, and it says WRQ20HD. WRQ20HD. These are the ones sold for $19.99, and these, based on that, I'm assuming they came on an Amazon pallet. We're looking for a size 8. That's a 6. That's a 10. Here's an 8. Uh, so these shoes sold for, uh, let's see, $32.94. And that includes this shirt as well. It's a Catherine shirt, original price of $50. Uh, we got a dress barn for a buck. So $32. I already forgot what it was. $32 something. We'll come back here, grab a size 9 for $14. 95 so this person bought two things and one of them really excites me uh let's see size large so this is a yamaha shirt it's actually got a yamaha genuine parts and accessories tag i paid three bucks i bought a whole bunch of them this was at saint vincent de paul in port washington wisconsin probably a good two years ago this is the first one that sold I am so happy one finally sold. So if you guys are interested in these, I've, I'd be happy to see them go because I paid a lot of money for them. I bought like 20 of them for three bucks each, so like 60 bucks. This one sold and then this person also, oh, it's a viewer. And they also bought one more thing. Let me dig it out. So I don't feel like taking this out of the bag, uh, but it's sold, it's a romper. So this person bought that and the Yamaha shirt. It was a viewer who left a note. By the way, they paid $44.87 for both. And they said, she said, Rabbit, you are getting me through this crazy time, my friend. Your videos of selecting eBay purchases is all I need. Love what you do. Huge fan from Oklahoma, Amy. I dabble in selling too. And she says, my underscore three underscore monkeys. I don't know if that's a YouTube channel or an eBay account, but you guys should check it out. So anyways... Those are going to Amy, and I certainly appreciate it. Sold one of these for $9.90. It's the ear warmers with Tom Brady on the front. Sold one of these. It's some sort of bug trap, I think. I don't know, one of those glue traps. I'm not sure. Sold for $11.99. Came on the Lowe's pallets. You can see they were originally selling them for $14.97. And lastly, I sold the last of these pens. Whoa, losing one. Apparently that one was open. It's a pen and ink set. Sold for $12.99. So that is my eBay sales. We got some more over here. The bra. Another one over there. It's scattered around. Two over there. I'm going to get these shipped out. And we'll go on to the other storage unit. So on this order. Uh, oh, this wasn't even a viewer. I'm thinking I forgot to slip a card in. So I put a hole in the side. I was going to slip a card in. This one isn't even a viewer. So never mind. I'll tape that back shut. Uh, this is going out to Winter. So Winter. I had a viewer named Winter buy something from me yesterday. I wonder if it's the same person. I'm watching uh, Shed Flips Garage Flips Lonnie. What it, he's flipping buildings. So 
So I still don't know what his channel is. He's good too. Anyways, all right, still shipping. And seventy-one dollars to ship this. This is everything but the tablet. That I'm gonna ship through Pirate Ship. It'll go cubic. It'll be about eight nine bucks. We've got five more orders for about fifty nine bucks, and they are all in the back room. So I'm just gonna print this sheet rather than writing it down. Get another nice look at my clean office. Well, not my office, but the office area. All right, so first, 2B1. Right here, we are looking for a 44D pink bra. It's a 38 double D. 35... Apparently it doesn't say on there. 42. Okay, I got to pull this out. What did I say? 48 double D. more down here 42 C do I have the size wrong we're looking for 44 D I don't know where I got 48 double D all right 44 D that's a 42 C that's a 40 C 44 D so this sold for 13.49 Next, we are in 1B1. First, let's put this away. Pack all this back up. In 1B1, we are looking for uh, Molten Midnight. Molten Midnight, where... Right here, Molten Midnight. And this sold for $11.99. Next, in 1C2, we're looking for Kitten. All these kittens that I am allergic to. All right. And this sold for eight, I'm sorry, $9.99. 2A1, we're looking for 50 kisses. I forgot to push that back in. 2A1, 50 kisses. If I had 50 kisses, I think my other half would be angry at me. All right. Uh, it might be that, I don't know. Right. It's gotta be this one, and this is the one that I couldn't find the, uh, the color on. Oh, trying to read this tiny, tiny text. It doesn't say. Let's pull this open. I don't see any color name here. All right, let's take another look at the uh, the sheet. Uh, I, I have four available, so it seems like there's only one of these, so that's not going to be it. Uh, why do I not see it then? It's not this stuff, I don't think. Supposedly, I have four available. Let me look at this. Uh, let's see. Laura Geller, 50 Kisses, Ruby Romances, Lip Color. Was this one Ruby Romances? Was this one Ruby Ro There we go. Okay, so 50 Kisses is not the color. That must be, there you go, 50 Kisses. That must be the type of uh, whatever it is. Pop this back in here. And we can put this away. 
then this sold for, let me get my sheet, $9.99. And lastly, 1A1, we're looking for Greek yogurt. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. All right. 1A1. And it looks like a taller. Maybe this. Greek yogurt. All right. 24 was the original retail. I got it for 5% of that. And it sold for $10.99. So what did I pay? 10% is $2.40. So a buck 20. Sold for $10.99. So here's the unit. Turns out I have a hand truck here. I didn't need to bring one. Uh, you remember I started going through this one in a previous video. You might remember the Beatles poster. This is all personal effects. You know what? I've got more of their pictures and stuff in the warehouse that I need to bring here. Anyways, personal effects. There's a big dresser sitting here. Uh, I went through all the boxes along the side there. There's a file cabinet here. Hopefully you guys remember by now. Um, I'm going to finish going through this one. Here's the plan. This storage facility is the closest of all the facilities that I've units at to Goodwill. So I'm going to make this the Goodwill unit. Something just fell. Okay. So this is going to be the Goodwill unit. So I'm going to take everything that's sellable and the trash and haul it out to the warehouse. Trash will go in the dumpster. Sellable items will just get stored until we're able. Oh, there's boxes in here. I didn't need to bring those either. Sellable items will get stored until we're able to sell it. Everything that's going to Goodwill is going to stay in here. Now, here is... What we're going to do after that, there's, I've got one more unit on this property. In fact, I think it's in this building on the very end. I'm going to do the same thing, except all the Goodwill stuff from there is going to be consolidated into here. And then the other units that I have, I'm going to do the same thing. All the Goodwill stuff from all of the units are going to get consolidated into this unit. So hopefully by the time this is all over with, this will be the only storage unit I have and everything is going to Goodwill. So it'll be nice and easy to haul out. So I'm gonna go through all the boxes. I brought some, but apparently there's some here and uh, load out what I can. Now in this unit, I've got, I'm seeing a bunch of these drawers. I'm also seeing white drawers. I think I might've brought the white one to the warehouse. I think so. And then I'm seeing those drawers. So that tells me there's at least three dressers in here and I don't know where. Um, I don't think there could possibly, unless it's, lined up under here or something because this is a table it looks like there's another couple more of those drawers uh let's see if i can get back here a little bit yeah there's no dresser down there this i'm pretty sure is a table maybe oh it's a desk you can see up there i don't know if you can see it there's one of those little holes for the cords to go down so we've got a desk here looks like maybe a bed frame behind it like a headboard but there's no dresser here and you can see at least up to there there's boxes so it's possible there might be a short one along there maybe maybe something under that but i don't know so i might just get stuck with a bunch of drawers rather than having any dressers um because there's nothing over here is that another wheelchair i had a wheelchair and i think it was a different unit i don't think it was this one so that's the plan then we've got this end table, but that's got the drawers in it. I do think I saw another end table, yeah, right there. And But it looks like there's not supposed to be any bottom drawer. It looks like it's just one drawer, or maybe there's two little ones, I don't know. But that's the plan. We're going to go through this. Well, I'll hopefully have an answer by the end of the day on all these drawers. There's another type of drawer. So I think there might they might have had a different unit, and there were just a bunch of drawers. Uh, the drawers are in here and the carcasses are in the other unit, which is annoying for both me and the other person. But anyways, that is the plan. I'm going to get as much of this out as I can. I might be able to get it all in one trip, just trash and good stuff, leaving the, the goodwill here. Um, I also have a bench that goes with these chairs, but I don't see the kitchen table, but that could easily be leaning behind any of these boxes. It could be behind here, maybe. No, it doesn't look like it. So anyways, that's the plan. I'm gonna do that and um, we'll, see, uh, we'll see what we find. So I'll give you a little update. We added a few more things to their personal effects, including that. Unless I find the rest of that dresser or table, I'm just gonna leave it in the drawer for them. We cleared out this whole area. 
Um, this looks like a pretty nice wheelchair, and they're already on the trailer, but the feet that go on it, I found those. We're going to give that to Goodwill. Hey, it looks like a nice looking picture back there, maybe. At least the frame looks nice. This is all going to Goodwill. All of that. From there over, I haven't gone through, and those two boxes are trash. Found some stuff to bring in the warehouse here, including the remote for, if you remember, there's a DVD VCR combo here. I found the remote, but it's missing the battery cover. So I'll hold on to it. Maybe I'll find a junk one. That peeling there is just the protective plastic. Um, they never took it off. But there were a couple other remotes in here that I could probably list on eBay. Duffel bag, Afghan. Let me show you what we got on the trailer. <clears throat> there's the feet for the chair. That box and that stack are all albums. This is this oh, this is a blanket, but that's the Oneida Nation logo, I guess. So local native tribe, a tribe as well as that. Uh, some odds and ends. These are brand new. Uh, I don't think I'm familiar. Sixty nine ninety nine originally. So some other odds and ends. Nothing too crazy. This leather jacket, Charlotte Russe, brand new, like a forty dollar price tag. Some other odds and ends. This has no base. So if I find the base, I can sell it. If not, I'm going to throw it away. So it goes on the trailer anyways. So next step, I'd like to tackle this stuff here. And then we're only really going to have the back five feet or so to do after that. We should get through this pretty quick, to be honest. Because look, all of that's clothing. I don't go through clothing. There's not one of those white drawers. This looks like a dresser, but that's another type of drawer. Oh man, I am so confused here. So anyways, that's where we're at. doesn't look much different it's just now clean there and messy over there so here's where we're at this is still all empty drawers a nightstand and that's personal items personal items that is trash it looks like it's food mostly um food and then some other odds and ends this is going back with me so these ziploc bags they're open but we use them a lot at the warehouse for organizing I would never use storage unit bags in, uh, for food, but two boxes, we can use them for you know, sorting merchandise. We've got a bobblehead of Willie Wood, former Packer. What else was in here? Some garbage bags, some tape, nothing too exciting. Uh, that's, those two are still garbage, the blue box and that, and that's garbage, but everything else over here is going to Goodwill. So, we got the front end done. Now we're gonna start working our way through this. There are so many drawers, there's no way there's a dresser for each one. Like, seriously, we've got these brown ones. We've got these dark brown ones. There's two, three, four, five. That's a new one I found. There's one that might go with that. There's a white one here. There's another one there, and then more of the regular brown ones. There's just no way. That's like, what, four dressers? There is what looks like a dresser down there, but it looks very different than the other side. I don't know. Oh, that's Goodwill also. You have got to be kidding me. The one dresser we do have is missing drawers. <sighs> well, maybe they're buried in here somewhere too. We're getting to the end though, and I'm not seeing any space where we could have any of those, but... So, this is more Goodwill stuff. Uh, we got to... This picture, that'll sell pretty well, as will this. What's back here? Probably, that one might be a painting. We might be able to sell that. We have this stuff yet to go through. The Goodwill pile is getting bigger, but it seems like there's less stuff in here, and I haven't brought much out to the trailer, so I guess we're just condensing it better. Um, so you remember, I had this DVD VCR combo worth about 80 to 100 bucks after fees on Amazon. Don't believe me, look it up. I found another one, same model. Looks a little rough, but it'll clean up nice if it works. 
We'll get some decent money. Now, selling these on Amazon, I will need to include the remote. I found one remote, but it's missing a battery cover, so I can't use that, but I do have a couple of the remotes that are meant for these units in the warehouse. Common remotes that I use, I like to buy a few at a time, just so I know I've got them. That is, uh, I think it's two drawers. No, that's one really deep drawer for that dresser. The one that, uh, the, probably the nicest dresser that we have drawers for in here. I really, cause you can see right there, there's no dresser there. So unless there's something sitting here, there's not enough space for it. I think all of these drawers are gonna end up in the trash. Uh, I can't really see. Yeah, that doesn't look like there's gonna be a dresser under there. So, I mean, I'd rather not. These are decent drawers. Some of them are solid wood, and I keep adding more to the collection here. Like, uh, this one is solid wood. These are press board, but they're, it's a nicer looking dresser. But uh, unfortunately, there's literally nothing I can do with them. So I don't know. And then I found some feet. I don't know what they go to, but I'm holding on to them for now. I don't know. It'd be a shame to just throw them away, but... There's not really much else I can do. There might be another end table down there that would require one of the smaller drawers. This looks like a TV stand that probably goes all the way back. Maybe an end table. This end table has its drawers. So I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll find out as we continue. So now it looks even more full than before. So no more dressers. All of these drawers, look at all these drawers. There's more over here. There's even more back here. A couple up there, one here. And I've got like 10 of them in the warehouse. They're all gonna have to go in the trash. There is not another dresser in here. That TV stand will probably go to Goodwill I, if they'll accept it. This I could probably sell, but this table used to have a lamp through, it's really wobbly. I'm gonna toss that. And unfortunately this dresser is also missing drawers. Uh, so, We've got drawers, but none for that. So and that one might go to it, but the other ones won't. So that's gonna have to go in the trash. This desk is in really rough shape. The whole thing's broken off there. So probably gonna have to trash that too. I still have to go through those two boxes and then this little round of boxes here. But I'll show you a couple of things that I've found here. Um, don't mind the cords on, we got a vintage set of Lincoln logs. Some jewelry, nothing special. This remote is worth about 10 bucks or so. Xbox cables. This jacket here though, is a vintage Woolrich jacket. I've sold that brand before. I think there's gonna be some money in it. This is a very large plate with the Oneida Nation stuff on it. A couple of yearbooks, some movies, some records, that's new. Look at this though. A whole bag full of wrapped Christmas gifts. So uh, I guess I get to celebrate Christmas. I'm gonna open those when we get to the warehouse. That's trash. This is gonna be Goodwill. It's glassware in there. I did go through the drawers. There were only a couple of notebooks in it. Uh, this is all Goodwill. The drawers, like I said, are trash. I did find another VCR DVD combo, but it's a Sansui, not worth quite as much. Another set of footrests for the wheelchair. Uh, beyond that, nothing else too special. This typewriter, it's a neat looking one. I think this will go for some money. It's a nice shape. I think I could probably get 30, 40 bucks locally for it. Locally is in, in a local auction. Uh, Packers Nutcracker. Uh, what else? Found some more personal items that we're leaving in here. Oh, walking stick, I found that earlier. I set it there just to get it out of the way. And then from here back, all of this is going to Goodwill. Along with these, I'm gonna stack it all better. The chairs should be able to be kept. Those bags are records. I don't remember if I saw what was in there or not. Uh, so that's basically it. Oh, we found the tabletop. The legs are on the trailer. We've got a whole bed frame here. Well, I don't see the footboard. So that's interesting. They must have had a second storage unit that this stuff was split into. Um, unless that's the footboard and there's no headboard, that's possible too. That's probably what, what the story is. So I don't know if we'll be able to sell that. Got some more records up here. 
Uh, I haven't seen anything special with the records, but I haven't gone through them either. So overall, it's a great unit. I'm just a little bummed out about all the drawers. I hate to throw them away, but what can you do? And uh, the fact that we have to sit on all this Goodwill stuff, not thrilled about that. You know, I'm not sure if I ever actually looked in here. Eh. Empty. Well, we already sold, or did we? No, we didn't sell any of the items from this unit yet. We sent them to a local auction company, but with the shutdown, it's not getting sold. But uh, did find some neat stuff, some cast iron. We found uh, the Mammy de decoration, you know, the the uh, old black Americana stuff. We found a cast iron one and then a coin, uh, a change jar or a cookie jar, I mean. Cast iron, coin bank, and a cookie jar, ceramic cookie jar. Those should go for some decent money. I think we'll do pretty well with this unit, but uh, obviously we gotta sit on it until this stuff is gone. But we can use it to store all of the crap that needs to go to Goodwill from the other units too. So I'll still be able to empty the other ones out completely. And then I'll just have a solid day of work clearing this out. Or what I'll more likely do is once Goodwill reopens, People are looking for cash, so post on Facebook Marketplace, paying a hundred bucks to empty this out. It's all going to Goodwill, so someone will probably take that up. Save me a day's work. hundred bucks for a day's work is like, I don't know, 14 bucks an hour or something like that. And they clear it all out for me so I can get more important things done. That's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm getting a little tired, but I wanna get this unit finished. We're just about done. Grab the trash, grab the sellable stuff, and then We'll be done here. I'll have one down. And we are all done. The last couple of boxes was mostly just kitchen stuff. I did find this briefcase. I remember before it was wedged down there and I opened it. So one person, one of the names that come, comes up in here passed away. That's the person that passed away about 12 years ago. I mentioned in the last video. Um, I'm guessing it's the person's father based on ages that I'm seeing. This is his work briefcase. So I'm going to leave that. It's got his business cards and stuff. Technically, they just want us to leave like pictures and whatnot, but I feel like they're going to want that. But I did find in it this really old $10 bill, 1934. I Now, I know a little bit about uh, you know coins and currency. I've never seen, or at least I don't know, of Federal Reserve notes being that old. I thought back then everything was silver certificates or gold or the red seals i don't know but uh this will probably just end up in my collection kind of neat find there 1934a so if you guys know anything about these let me know um i mean if it's worth a ton of money i don't expect it to be worth a ton of money but if it is i'll sell it but i'm expecting this to probably be worth like 20 30 bucks tops the very least, even these old ones, they're still worth 10 bucks. They'll still be accepted by banks and whatnot. So anyways, now I'm gonna get the sellable stuff, a couple of boxes here loaded up. You know, the wheelchair, those, everything that's going to the warehouse, I'm gonna get loaded up first. And then trash is gonna go on next because that's going to the warehouse to go in the dumpster. But um, we'll put it on the back of the trailer, that way we can stop at the dumpster first. And then I'm gonna restack this Goodwill stuff here so it's stacked a little more nicely. Uh, this thing, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll stand it up and see if it's something that maybe if I post it on Facebook Marketplace for free, someone will get it. Maybe, who knows. Um, but that's it, gone through everything. All right, time to start loading up. And we are done. So the whole back of the trailer is trash up to about where the boxes start, that's all sellable. We're gonna have to leave some stuff behind. You see how empty we got it. Furniture, so furniture that we're keeping, it's gonna be this table, that shelf, this thing, the headboard, all that stuff, and then the tabletop here, as well as at least those two pictures. This and that, I'm probably gonna post both of them for free, see if I can get someone to pick them up. And then all of this is Goodwill. All of that's going to Goodwill. And then this is personal effects. We're giving back to them. I've also got a box full of stuff that I found in boxes in the warehouse. So I have to add that to the pile. And then I'm leaving this here since there's still furniture here. 
Unfortunately, that dresser is gonna have to go in the trash too, but I'm gonna have to do a dump run with some other broken furniture and whatnot from a different unit, so I can do that on that day. But we're basically done with this. Let's get the furniture out, and that's it. So we'll head to the warehouse. We'll empty the back first, and then we'll bring the rest inside. This one is uh, more or less done. So since I left, it was a dollar thirty-four this morning. Now gas is one twenty-five. So I had to stop at the warehouse for a quick bathroom break before I haul that stuff to the dumpster. Seriously, I was there for like four hours holding it in, drinking lots of caffeine. Yeah, do the math. So, anyways, um, yesterday in yesterday's video, which was uploaded like when I first got to the storage unit today. No, I think it was after I was at the unit for... Anyways, uh, a viewer who bought something suggested that I create a Patreon. And I mentioned that I've been floating the idea around in my head where I would do, you know, like two bucks a month, just some low amount, completely optional, just for people who want to support the channel but don't want to buy anything. Um, and based on the comments so far, it's a resounding no. You guys do not like that idea. A lot of comments said you want to subscribe to people who do that. Uh, a lot of comments said they don't like it. So I'm not going to do it. Um, it was a thought. But obviously, if you guys don't want it, this, this is your channel. I'm just here talking on the channel. You guys are the ones watching. So uh, at the end of the day, what you guys want to see is what you're going to see. As long as it's nothing creepy. I'm not showing you anything creepy. Except for the creepy head. Or is that everyone thinks that let's go look at the creepy head. Everyone thinks it's creepy. So right. Hope that didn't make you too dizzy. Right there. He's our mascot. Anyways, I am going to go haul this stuff to the dumpster and uh dump it. Gonna gonna have a big dump in the dumpster. I should do another video of going to the dump. You know, I do plan on going to the dump soon because I've got a unit full of bulk trash that I'm, I can't put in my dumpster. So you guys will get to watch me at the dump again. Excited to watch me dump? Okay, the jokes are getting too crude. Let's go throw this stuff away. Grab the tripod, forgot that when I went to the storage facility. By the way, Manfrotto, 10 bucks at a pawn shop. Here are all the drawers that are here from the unit. A couple of those on the end, I think, came from a different unit. Maybe that white one, too. But these dark brown ones and those two, I'm going to throw away. Just not right now. Everything else is sellable. Now, I pretty much filled it up. This was empty when I started. You could see I was trying to just oomph them in to try and break them up while they went in. That didn't work out so well. So I might come back out here with a hammer and smash them up a little more just so we have more space in the dumpster. But that's where we're at. We'll uh, get this stuff loaded inside next. So I always check gift cards when I find them in units. I found these five. These two have zero balance, a Visa gift card and the local grocery store, the chain. But these three have money on them. Kohl's has $12.89. The Shell gift card is $4.68. And Applebee's has $7.70. So that's like 25 bucks, free money right there. I've found balances on gift cards quite often. Usually it's only a couple bucks, but... You know, if I'm already shopping at the store, if there was a dollar forty nine on the Applebee's gift card, I'd probably throw it out because I'm not gonna go there. But for seven bucks, that's a free appetizer basically. Sure, yeah, I'll go there. Um, 
But like the Shell gift card, I'm bound to get gas at a Shell station at some point. Might as well use it, even if it's only four bucks. Uh, same with Kohl's. I get a lot of my clothes there. I get socks there. I'm there all the time. Not now, because all Kohl's stores are closed, but it, it's free money. But I have found gift cards. Like I found, a, I think, $35 gift card to the local movie theater. I don't really like going to the theater because new movies kind of suck. So I end up selling those. I sent them to a local auction and I'm getting, I ended up getting like 20, 25 bucks for them. Same with uh, a Victoria's Secret gift card that had, I don't remember, maybe 10 bucks on it. Um, sold that. And then there were several others, but I always check them because it takes a couple minutes. I sat here and did it online on my phone. A couple required me to call. It took like five minutes and I now have 25 bucks in free money. And the trailer's emptied out. That's just boxes, empty boxes for the next the next run. Coming in here, we've got shipping boxes. This is all Goodwill stuff from, I mean, a couple of these things ended up coming out of this unit, but most of this is from other units and stuff from before. I found half of this the last time I was there, the other half this time. So those will be able to get sold. There are the chairs. That bench came out of that unit too on a different pickup. So all of this bottom shelf is getting sent to a local auction, as well as those two items, three items, the walking stick. This is all, we're looking at it for eBay. It's potential eBay stuff. And then the uh, Ziplocs. And then right there is all the records. So you know what time it is. It's Christmas time. All right, so let's see what we've got. To Ray from Sister Bruce? I don't know. It's a weird name for a sister. That's the proper way to open Christmas gifts. All right, we got men's fleece sleep pants. Uh, let's see, size 34 to 37. I'll probably put these in the warehouse sale, as with most of this stuff, since it's new. All right, this one does not have a name on it. Interesting, it feels hollow. Ooh, a third, just what I wanted. Thanks, Sister Bruce. Uh, let's see, well, it's a thermos. Might be worth putting on eBay. Probably gonna go in the warehouse sale. Oh, I, I wonder what this is. Breezy from, to Ray from Breezy. Looks like B-R-E-E-C-I-E. -E. I wonder what this could be. I should just leave them wrapped. I know it's a thermos. I should leave it wrapped and give it to Mrs. Rabbit for Christmas. Of course, she'll be confused if it says to Ray. I'll have to take that off. Look at this. Matching Mr. and Mrs. Thermos. What am I hearing in here? Oh, just a little slip of paper that probably has like care instructions and whatnot. All right. Here's another one with that same wrapping paper. This is to Deb from Brucey or whatever. This is two gifts here. So let's, my grandma would be so angry with me because I'm not saving the paper. Okay, so this one I think is probably leaked. Yeah, this froze and leaked. So this is probably gonna go in the trash. I think it leaked, I don't know. It doesn't, I'm squeezing it and nothing's coming out so it doesn't have any, any holes or anything. I don't know. Maybe we will put it in the sale. Uh, this one looks like it got wet, but it's on the opposite side of where the thing was, so maybe that's what I'm feeling. All right, let's see what Deb is getting up. Uh, this might be what leaked. No? But uh, we got cordial cherries. This will go in the trash because it's food and it was all leaked on the boxes. You know, all water damage. All right, let's see what else we've got. This, I think it's just an empty bag. Well, this is for the grandson that she didn't love. I'm just assuming grandma's gifts. The lady who owned the unit was younger, so maybe not. All right, here we go. Two Loodle from Sister Brucey. This one also feels like it got wet. 
snacks. Uh, let's see, these have been sitting for a while because these candy takes forever to expire. They expired August of 2019. Then we got Lifesavers. And so whoever this is, it's all hard candy. Either the gifter or the receiver is probably an old person. All right, we've got one left here. All right, what's down here? Just tags. All right, one left. I bet I can guess what it is. Slippers. Slippers! All right, whatever. I might keep these for myself because I need a pair of slippers. Or maybe I'll sell them. I'll probably sell them. So that is what we've got for Christmas gifts. Hope you guys enjoyed the holiday portion of this video. I don't know if I have anything else left for you. You know what? I bet I've got some eBay sales. Let's finish it the way we started with eBay. So maybe it leaked out of this. Maybe it was just already open, but uh, I'm going to throw this away too. So we get those. Still some decent stuff, especially these thermoses. These are probably 10 bucks a piece in the store, I'd imagine. Oh, a couple more quick things. Found the other remote, but it was also missing the battery cover. Also found some stamps. So I love finding stamps in units because it's like free money because I go out and buy these and have to use them. And then this book, I wanted to look it up on Amazon. So let's look it up right now. Uh, you get to see my pitiful Amazon sales with nothing in stock. Come on, it's thinking about loading. It's thinking, there we go. All right. So this book is 90 cents. All right, so this is going to Goodwill. Oh, also there was a piggy bank that I grabbed out of there. The bank itself is in the Goodwill pile. But there was coins in it. So check it for silver, and then I will dump it in the coin jar, which is growing fast. Yeah, no silver. All right, we'll dump it in the jar. So someone suggested a while back that I should save all of the change I find in a unit um, and then cash it in all at once at a later date. And that's what I've been doing. But I cashed it all in. I had like three jars like this. It ended up being like a hundred bucks. Cash that in, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. This is what we're up to so far. And then Canadian coins. For next time I go to Canada, I'll be able to uh, spend those. So this is going to be a really long video. But you guys seem to like the long ones. So a couple of things. Uh, I got, I'm looking through comments right now. Uh, what, else, what was I thinking of? There was one winter actually commented on the video. So I asked her if she was the one who bought from Garage Flips. And she said, yes, it was her. So me and Lonnie have uh, some shared buyers. Uh, what else? I, I think that's all I can really remember. So anyways, let's ship these orders. There are a lot of them. First, we've got... Oh, this is going to be fun to find. Let me go off camera and dig through these. These shoes, they're actual shoes according to Target's website. They look like slippers. And the buyer is a viewer. I saw the comment when I accepted the offer. Unfortunately, I don't have the comment in front of me anymore. But uh, Spencer bought them for $12.50. I don't know if it was Spencer or Spencer's wife or girlfriend using Spencer's account. But either way, Spencer and family, I certainly appreciate it. And according to... So first we've got these, according to Target's website, they're shoes, but they are slippers, or but they're being used as slippers by the buyer. Um, I don't have the comment in front of me, but I did see it when the offer was put in. Unfortunately, I don't see those anymore after I accept the offer, but um, I certainly appreciate the sale. We've got another one of these keychains right here. Oh, that was a viewer. Uh, the note says, best of luck, Rabbit, from one reseller to another. I'm loving the more frequent uploads from you as of late. My favorite part of any resale Rabbit video is when we get a snide comment about Rakin. Take care. Um, think of, thinking of snide comments, uh, Rakin likes to sell the wholesale formula. That's the best I got. All right, next. Next we've got... Hello Kitty, uh, is it a Beanie Baby? Aren't these Beanie Baby? Oh, no, it is filled with uh, the beans. 
that sold for, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sold for eight bucks. I also forgot to show you what the to total numbers are right now. 17 sales for 336. Someone bought these. They're not supposed to sell until Tim comes back. Anyways, the Gloria Vanderbilt jeans, size 10. And this was also a viewer. Uh, no comment in the, I'm looking for 10, where is it? There we go. No comment in the, the buyer's notes, but I do remember after I accepted the offer, or in the offer, she said um, that I still need to notify Tim that he forgot. And that was purchased from Rebecca. Appreciate the sale. We've got another pair of feel goods, size 13. That's going to be these right here, men's 13. If you remember on the last video, I mentioned these came with the toys for some reason, but they came out of Whole Foods. And they sold for $16.99. I stand corrected. It was not these that sold. It was the gray ones, but same, same price and everything. Next, we sold this shirt. It was $44.95 originally. Came out of Dress Barn. I paid a buck. Sold it for $19.99. Someone made a comment on a video recently that uh, all these seem like retail prices and they don't understand how these things are selling, but you know, 45 bucks retail sold for 20. Uh, this is 22.99 retail sold for 10, 12, I don't remember. You know, we're selling all this stuff for less than retail, so I don't know where they're seeing everything at retail. Next, we sold a single, 32 bucks, and I actually have boxes. These, no. These ones, perfectly sized to fit it. I did that intentionally. Another Dress Barn shirt, $44.95. We paid a buck, sold for $17. To tie or not to tie? Yes, that is, well, it's not the question, but it is a question. It's one of them, one of the many questions that can question your question. For $7.99, sold another pair of these gloves. He was, uh, this is a note he put what they're selling for uh, back when he would ask me if it's worth listing or not. But anyways, size XL, but they feel like a smaller medium. Sold to a viewer for $7.99. Uh, Jan, she says, thanks, Rabbit, watching along. So Jan, you can watch as I pull your item, and I'm not going to film myself shipping, so that's all you get to watch. Another viewer sale. First, we've got... An ink cartridge, HP 28, and we've got in here a big old belly. I'll show you this a little more closely in a minute. So we'll get these over here. This is a viewer sale. We spent $17.98 on both. Uh, Deanna, Deanna again, I think it's the same Deanna. And she says, love your channel. I have a stuffed toy rabbit as a mascot in my eBay area to remind me to turn and burn. Yes, turn and burn. So this is a fanny pack that looks like a big old belly. So it looks like they were selling it for a dollar at that store. This came from that store by down in Indiana. There are belly ones, <clears throat> excuse me, and there are booty ones. Let me show you the booty one. I tried on the booty one, and I think I may have kept one for myself. The booty ones look like that and it's a fanny pack and uh when someone is wearing it it looks so realistic it's scary we got two sales in here we're starting with one d1 which is right here i think it's one of these i'm looking for the uh right there illuminator pink and that sold for 12 bucks looks like original retail was 20 so i paid a buck for it and then in one g1 down here i think that's going to be these we have them sold as a two pack well it can't be because this is an odd number styling paste so i guess maybe we have a two pack and a three pack i don't know but anyways, a two pack sold for $14.99 and it was a viewer. We'll get, uh, I'll read what she said in a moment. It was Lori. She says, hey Rabbit, I'm a viewer, love your channel. And I'm looking at the listing here. It says we've got one more available. So I don't know if we've, we're selling one as a single or what the deal is. But anyways, Lori, I appreciate the purchase. Sold another two pack of these for $69.99. 
we are really dwindling down. These came on the Lowe's palette, and there were a lot of them. So the Shopkins doll, this came off of the Amazon palettes, as you can see there. Sold for 20 bucks. Sold a shirt here for, uh, I don't remember how much I sold it for. I'm guessing it came on the Amazon palettes, just based on where it was located. And it sold for 10 bucks to Dustin, who said been watching for two years, love the videos. Thanks, Dustin, I certainly appreciate it. We've got two more in the other room. So first, in 1A2, I sound Canadian, 1A2, we've got 50 watts right here. This sold, I paid $1.40, and it sold for $14.99. And then in 2D1, that's going to be right here, the Sapphire. And this sold to a viewer. I paid a buck for it. Uh, when Riley Rose closed, sold for $13.49, and we'll read the viewer's note in a moment. Uh, it says, love your YouTube channel, Rabbit. You're an inspiration. I certainly appreciate it. I wouldn't call myself an inspiration, but I do work hard. So I don't know if I want to ship all of these out right now because it's 5.30. I kind of want to go home, eat, and call it a day. But we'll get some of them shipped out. So I lied. We're all shipped out. And during that time, I got three more orders. So let's find those and then I'm going home. Sold the other one, coincidentally at the same time, $12.99 full price. It was a viewer sale. Lawrence says, hey Rabbit, thanks for the videos. I really hope you're doing well and you continue to keep us entertained for a long time. I'm buying this for my five-year-old daughter. So if you give her a shout out, her name is Ella and tell her to enjoy her kitty. It would totally make her day. Thank you so much and stay safe. Well, appreciate the sale, Lawrence. Or Larry, I don't know, a lot of people named Lawrence go by Larry. Ella, hope you like your Hello Kitty. We'll give it, we'll get it shipped out carefully for you. Hope you enjoy it. We've got, I think right up here, I saw it the other day. Let's get this over on the table. We've got a Donkey Kong shirt. Even the tag looks vintage, but it's not. It came out of Target, so I paid 50 cents for it. And it was purchased by Rebecca. The same person that bought the jeans that I just shipped out, so I guess they're going separate. She says, glad you and Mrs. Rabbit are staying safe. I'm not sure if you'll see this message on the green jeans. Make sure Tim knows he forgot to label the jeans when we're on shelf A3. Love the videos. Keep them coming. Hope the sales keep coming in for you. Thanks again, Rebecca. I appreciate both sales, and uh, we'll get it shipped out for you. Now we're looking for A2, which is this shelf. And I don't see the thing we're looking for. supposed to be on this shelf but i'm not seeing it that might be it hold on let me go look so the location id says a2 but it, that was it on a3 down here so i moved it back up there it is these pants look like comfortable lounge pants original retail is 39.95 they came from dress bar and cost me a buck and the buyer paid 17.99 it was a viewer kimberly she says hey rabbit been a subscriber for years Love the videos. You always have a positive outlook. Would you autograph a card for me? Thanks, Kimberly. So, Kimberly, I certainly appreciate it. And I actually don't use Outlook anymore. I just do my emails right through Gmail. But um, I suppose I do have a positive opinion of Outlook. I, I just don't see a need for it. So, Kimberly, I will get this shipped out for you. And uh, that's it. I am done shipping for the day. It is... 6.02 p.m. I'm starving. I want to go home, and I still got to get all this stuff dropped off. So I've got a few to drop off now. I'm going to go do that, and then I'm going home. Because like I said, you know, two hours ago, I'm hungry and want to be done for the day. So I appreciate every single one of you who have bought something. I mean, I also appreciate the non-viewers who buy things, but they're not watching, so I can't physically thank them. I'm getting ahead of myself. I appreciate all of you. You guys are amazing. I can't say it enough. I sound like a broken record in every video saying how much I appreciate it. I did kind of rush the orders today, so I may not have sounded really appreciative, but that's because we were doing storage units and it's, it's late. I'm hungry. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.